are you looking for the best slave mill combo? In this video, we will break down the top 6 slave mill combos on the market. We have included links in the description for each product mentioned. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Hi there! Here at Tools Informer, we're a group of product researchers and testers. We test, analyze, and research new and trending products to create a list of top picks with a buying guide for every category based on product's features, quality, price, and user feedback. If you choose from our list, you can be sure you'll be buying one of the best products available today. Make sure to check the product links down below in the description. And please, like the video and subscribe to our channel to get more product reviews and buying guides regularly. When it comes to versatility, you can never ignore the appeal that the Bailey MLD1030 can afford you. As this is a combo pack, you can use it for your entire lathe and millwork. This 3-in-1 machine can serve you years of service. This MLD is small in stature, however, the performance of the three machines together will never disappoint you. The most interesting part about this mill drill lathe combo is the motor. This kit includes a different motor for the lathe and the mill. Plus, the motors of this combo are 1 HP 110V motors. So, you will be able to use this in any standard outlet without any confusion. When it comes to this mill drill lathe, the chucks and plates are significant. Along with this, rest is also very vital. This combo of mill and lathe comes with a 3-jaw chuck and dower jaw chuck. Along with this, the steady rest and the follow rest options are added as standard features in this case. The range of metric threads of this combo is 04.3.5 milliliters. On the contrary, the range of longitudinal feed for every revolution is 0.0030.008 inches. Also, the simple bore is 1.1 inches, and it has 8 to 56 TPI variable speed. This combo comes with a spindle stroke of 2 inches, and the top slide travel is 2 inches. The Grizzly G9729 is a 3-4 horsepower motored machine that is huge in size. The horsepower makes it a professional class lathe machine from Grizzly. Yet being powerful it is really quiet and smooth. You can use this machine for limitless usages such as your DU mid-range projects. At first look, the most satisfying thing is that the whole mill is made of metal. The machine comes fully assembled. The well-built metal body gives the machine a sturdy look. The machine has two separate motors for the lathe and the mill. The motors are 3-4 HP, which means they can do professional level jobs. The turret tool of this machine makes it a complete do-it-all combo. The 4-way turret tool makes your work easier than ever. You get to clip four types of tools at the same angle. There are 3 to 5 inches jaws attached to the spindle as well. Plus, it offers you features like a magnetic controller and a forward reverse switch. The switch makes your work easy while feeding the metal to the lathe. You get the opportunity to make both left and right hand threads. It also offers you 16 spindle motor speeds and 7 lathe spindle speeds. This is a wide range from which you can choose for your precise cutting. The lathe speed range of this combo machine is 175-1425 RPM. There is a built-in T-slot with the machine. This slot provides you a better holding for your workpiece. There is also a hand rest to make your user experience more comfortable. Moreover, the safety feature of this machine is also a great addition. The magnetic switch of the machine prevents it from overloading. The switch goes off automatically when the machine is overloaded. It also auto-turns off if the electricity goes off, but doesn't turn the machine on when the electricity is back. The Mophorn 7 into 12 upgraded version mini metal milling lathe is one of the best budget-friendly options. This heavy-duty option is constructed of the best quality aluminum for long-lasting usage with variable speed settings. The lathe bed in this is made of high-quality iron, which again is subjected to abrasion, so you need to be extremely careful with the maintenance. The gears in this machine are made of nylon material, which again is pretty great. It is designed with accurate design with the highest precision rotation of the spindle for superior milling or drilling functions. The 550W motor might not seem like the best you'd get, however, it is pretty much a decent option at the price you pay. As for the performance, this lathe is integrated with variable speed settings that range between 50 to 2500 RPM, depending on your needs and the kind of work that you are doing. Also, some functions allow you to forward and reverse the functions. The 3 chuck jaw with self-centering function ensures heightened repeatability with accuracy that you would never have to complain about. Also, it can easily hold strong and heavy-duty materials for superior functions like no other. Furthermore, the 4-way tool post in this lathe is hands down the best part of this, especially because of how well it optimizes the performance. Adjusting the compound allows you to get the best performance out of this machine without any interruptions at all.
it can be difficult for entry-level machinists or people who want to work in lathe mills as a hobby to find the appropriate machines. For such people, the Shop Fox M108 Combo Lathe Mill is a dream item. It is versatile, easy to use, and perfect for people still learning how to perfect their crafts. With this lathe mill, you can do a lot of things including turning, cutting threads, as well as drilling and milling small-scale projects. In terms of add-ons, it comes with a 4-way turret tool post, an iron and a half inch faceplate, a 4-inch 3-jaw chuck, and a built-in rotating vise. It also has an 11 and a half inch swing over the saddle, along with a 19 and 3 16 inch distance between centers and Montana number 3 tapers. At 501 pounds this is one of the heaviest lathe mill machines you can find in the market. User comfort is a key criterion when buying such machines. The turret tool and its functions make your life easier when using this machine. Moreover, it has got manual carriage controls. Its longitudinal hand crank allows you to maneuver the carriage in the same direction as the lead screw. This helps you to zero in on the cutting tool and allow you to keep track of both the location and movement of the tool that you are using. This Proxen 34104 lathe mill drilling hat will turn your machine into some machining center. It happens to be among the powerful machines that will actually add so much panache to everyone's craftsmanship. Its milling head has a size of 1 and 3 8 into 15 and 3 4 inches column. The number involves the needed mounting bracket as well as the bolts that are attached to your lathe. You will realize that the lathe acts as a compound table. It is the XY travel that is normally considered longitudinal and crosswise in a respective way. Also, it comes with speed variations from 280 all the way to 220 RPM. Any material milled or drilled through this machine will definitely come in the exact way that you intended it to be. The Bailey MLD 1030 Mini Lathe Combo is 19.6 inches in length, 11.8 inches in width, 16.1 inches in height. Including all the parts in it, it contains 66.14 pounds of weight. Because of its small features, it is very convenient to use in mini workshops. It is constructed by 150W of motor. The motor can provide variable speeds. It has a total of 15 variable speeds range from 500 RPM to 2500 RPM. The whole machine needs 120 volts with a 50 Hz frequency of the current. They have 10 levels of milling and drilling variable speeds from 500 RPM to 2500 RPM. The vertical stroke range of the milling and drilling is 60 mm. The drilling capacity came up with 6 mm in depth. The milling and drilling hand can be rotated up to 360 degrees. Furthermore, with a 3-4 inch diameter spindle bore the lathe machine can provide 5 levels of speed starting from 560 RPM to 2500 RPM. The working capacity is 7.08 inches or 180 mm with a stroke of 18 mm. The working table length is 85 mm and the T-slot width is 8 mm. Thanks for watching our video. Like, comment and share with your friends. If you find this video helpful, subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your field.